New at 11, you've heard about magnetic resonance imaging, but did you know MRIs can also be helpful in, as a screening tool for breast cancer? Anchor Kristen Hartman learned that on a very personal level. Kristen? Yeah, Tanya, this summer I found two small lumps under my arm. Having been through a mastectomy already, it was scary. But in talks with my doctors, I picked up some new information for me that I'm sharing now because if I didn't know about it, perhaps you don't either. That's me on the table in the tube. The test is a breast MRI. You doing okay in there? This story is about how I got there and why. You fall into our high risk screening category now. The high risk label comes as a result of a complex series of factors. In my case, I had a breast cancer diagnosis in 2015. The treatment was surgical, a mastectomy on the right side. But the remaining breast has very dense tissue. And this summer, in a self-exam, I found two lumps my annual mammogram did not. Mercy Health's Dr. Anna Sobolewski reviewed my case. And I don't have a whole lot of peace of mind uh, with the mammogram in light of your dense breast tissue and the fact that these two areas that we were worried about didn't show up on the mammogram. Um, right. So that, that was a little concerning. So taking all factors into consideration, she ordered the breast MRI. Even with my history, I didn't know that was an option. Our all of the women who might qualify for this test getting this test? I think that they're most likely not. Radiologist Dr. Joseph Benjamin tells me they might not know they fall in the high risk category. And then sometimes a patient is just accustomed to a protocol. A mammogram like this is what caught my original breast cancer, but with dense tissue, it might not necessarily catch everything. That's where the breast MRI comes in. Sometimes the dense tissue can obscure changes on a mammogram since dense tissue appears white on the mammogram, and sometimes breast cancer can also appear white and it can be hidden in that dense tissue. Mm -hmm. Breast MRI offers a different look at that tissue that can have that cancer stand out more mm -hmm. when compared to a mammogram. Here's how it works. An IV allows for contrast delivery. Breast MRI relies on that contrast to light up potential trouble spots. It's a longer test in excess of half an hour compared to seconds for a mammogram and minutes for an ultrasound. Basically, breast MRI produces detailed pictures of the tissue, finding deep things, posterior things, even medial things. There are, those are on the edges of the mammogram or sure. can be excluded from a mammogram just based on the location. I asked if it can identify precancerous cells. It definitely can. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, More than a mammogram? So it's something we want to use in conjunction with the mammogram. Because according to the experts, a mammogram can find cancers the MRI might miss. They're more supplementary than they are one replacing the other. Breast cancer screening these days is more individualized based on a woman and her personal risk of breast cancer. We want to find it as early as we can. We want to find it as small as we can. Yeah. And are, the better we can screen patients, the more cancers we can find. When I had my breast MRI, biopsies already had determined the two lumps I found were benign. Fortunately, everything was okay, but we wanted to get a better look at that. Because of my risk factors, the enhanced fact finding also helped answer my question about whether I should consider another mastectomy. We use a lot of things when we're trying to make decisions about whether or not we need to do surgery or if we can just continue to watch people closely. In your case, yes, it did help. So by getting the breast MRI, we were better able to evaluate the dense breast tissue and actually see what exactly was going on. And it looked great. That's music to my ears. Yes. So right now, no surgery. Correct. Okay. <laughs> yeah, close observation. Okay. And we'll keep seeing each other every six months. That was music to my ears, being high risk, I'll be staggering MRIs and mammograms every half year, but at least one major study shows breast MRI can increase the incidence of mastectomy because of all the things that it picks up. Increased false positives and biopsies are an issue too. One reason, it's not for everyone and we need to drive that home. The American Cancer Society recommends against the screening for women whose lifetime risk is less than 15%. Now, I contacted three other hospital systems. A doctor at one has used it, but tends to lean to the 3D mammogram saying, quote, that works pretty darn well. The other systems like Mercy use breast MRI as an additional screening tool to mammography in high risk cases, such as when women test positive for breast cancer genes. I think it's